Hello everybody, it's Mateo and today I'm going over the most common question that I get in my YouTube comments as well as my Discord, which is basically if Petsim is finally going to die. Now pretty much every bad update that we get from big games or tweet that goes over the future of the game, I get a bunch of people asking me whether or not the game is finally going to die, if it's no longer going to be like one of the most top played games on Roblox. Basically all of the Doomer comments from the community but finally today we are addressing this topic and the answer to that question might actually be yes now but don't you guys worry we will go over all of that in this video really quickly i just wanted to say i am finally back from california i went to twitchcon and met with a bunch of really sick creators but we are finally back home and gonna go full force in the youtube grind let me know down in the comment section what type of videos you guys are looking forward to and what kind of stuff you want to see on the channel so make sure you are subscribed so that you could see that new stuff coming out this week. And let's get right into what I'm actually talking about. All right, you guys. So as you probably know, or maybe you don't know, Big Games did a massive tweet today announcing that they're actually going to be skipping this week's update in Pet Simulator 99. Now I'll have that tweet on the screen here so that you guys can see it for yourselves. Now, one thing you'll notice in that tweet is that they do say there is a big reason for why they might be doing this. Now, obviously that big reason that most people are speculating in the game is that they are going to be releasing the Pet Sim RNG game this week on Saturday. So for for that reason is why they didn't want to put out an update because I guess that would take away the player base from that new game. So instead of releasing an update for Pet Sim, they are just going to be releasing that game and hope that all of the Pet Sim people go on there to check it out. Now, obviously, this will come as a major blow to the Pet Sim community that is looking forward to new content for the game. Now, a lot of people are really upset about this for a good reason, and that's because when Preston actually announced that the Pet Sim RNG game was going to be released or something that they might be working on. They said that all of the updates and content for the main game Pet Simulator 99 would not be affected. So from the looks of it, because they canceled this update and then they canceled the other update like two weeks ago as well, that that was not true and that they are doing a major focus on this new game. Now, some other theories is that instead of them working on this Pet Sim RNG game, they're saying that the reason why this update is not being released this weekend is instead because they're working on some big Halloween October themed update. Now, personally, I just don't see any validity in that. I don't think this is the case at all. They very easily could have just like added like one huge and some new gift bag in this week's update in order to at least give us some content but even that was too much for them so it seems like they are focusing their dev team on this new game and honestly this does add up with a lot of the moves that we've seen big games doing as of recently if you didn't notice i think a month ago or even a few weeks ago they lowered the prices of the new titanic pets so they're now cheaper which actually suggests that they weren't getting that many people actually buying the titanic plushies as much as they used to at least so personally to me it seems like they could just be milking the game for all it is and then trying to build up hype for a new game now i don't think i've actually talked about the pet sim rng game here on the channel quite yet but when that game does come out i most definitely will be playing it and you will be seeing some new content on there my only concern is that that seems like the rng genre of games is kind of dying out already i believe in its peak souls rng had like 150,000 people and now it's sitting at at just like 40,000. And overall, I'm just not too sure like what kind of content I could even make on an RNG game. There's not like you would need like a ton of builds or other things. I'm really hoping that because Big Games is taking their developers off of Pet Sim 99, that they are coming up with some really good intuitive, like original ideas for content in that game. And even though I do think that the RNG update in Pet Simulator 99 was a great update and it was actually a lot of fun to play, I think the only reason it was fun to play is because the huges that you got and the pets that you get were something that you would get in Pet Simulator 99. 
So I can't really understand how a game that won't let you trade those pets from the RNG game to the main Pet Sim 99 would be fun at all. Now, personally, I do have a lot of faith in this new game because I do think the big games developers are really good and creative when they want to be. I think they just personally lost a lot of motivation with the main game. So I'm hoping that with this new RNG game, they're able to be a little bit more creative and come up with some good ways to make the game sustainable and fun in the long term and i mean preston did say that this game is going to have its own like standalone economy and all of that other stuff it's going to include all of the huge pets and titanics from the main game and then with that separate economy there could be some sort of trading and good system that you can actually do the stuff with the fact that they said that this game would be so much more in depth than a traditional rng based game i think it is a good testament to the fact that we could see some good content within this new game now i've been doing a whole bunch of yapping to not really answer the actual question that was posed personally in my own opinion i don't think pet simulator 99 is ever gonna die unless they make another like big game that is a pet sim based game and the reason for that is that people, I think, have just spent way too much time and energy and money in Robux and all of these other things, so much so that they just feel like they've put too much into the game to actually quit. So for that reason is why I don't think PetSim 99 itself is actually going to die in the long term. But I definitely could see big games stop doing weekly updates and stop updating the main game, especially if this new RNG game does do well. Overall, I think it's just a very good thing that Big Games is making this new RNG game because it seems like they were completely burnt out and out of new good ideas for this game. So I think if they're able to use that energy that made all of the cool aspects and things that we love about Pet Simulator 99 and pour that into this new game that they could make something that we've never seen before in Roblox. Again, to reiterate, I don't think PetSim 99 is gonna die as a whole because people have just put too much into it. Really, all Big Games needs to do is just put little updates into the game to make it just a little bit more refreshing. Now, obviously, since I was at TwitchCon this week, I did miss the update on Saturday, but honestly, this week's update was pretty cool. It definitely gives sort of a pet catcher's vibe vibe here but again the total amount of content that really comes from this really isn't all that much and from my perspective i don't really know even what big games can do in an update to make this game more engaging i do think the system that they have with catching these pets is kind of cool where you throw the ball at it and it goes inside and then you have like a little chance but of course that is not really enough to keep the player base engaged I think what big games needs to do is put more gambling mechanics into the game, do some more gambling type updates because that is what honestly keeps me the most engaged with this game. I feel like we haven't had too many good chances at gambling as of recently, so maybe that's what they need to do. But overall, the answer to the question, if Pet Simulator 99 is going to die, it's like a little bit of yes and a little bit of no. There's always going to be a good solid fan base that's going to be playing the game, especially because of how much money they've put in. But I do think if Big Games is putting their full effort into updates on the RNG game, then I do think that game will take over. So technically, Pet Sim is going to be the dead game compared to the RNG version, at least for a little bit until people get bored of that that but yeah that's pretty much it for today's video sorry again for yapping i had a lot on my mind about all of the updates and the lack of content that we've been getting to the game i was actually on my flight when i got the tweet notification of them announcing that they're not going to be doing an update this week so that was very disappointing to see. I'm also going to be doing other Roblox games here on the channel. So let me know down in the comment section what types of games you would like to see. And maybe I'll check it out because I'm definitely looking to branch out here on the channel. So I hope to see you guys there. Thank you so much for watching this video. Hope to catch you in the next one and peace out.